just um, waiting for the emotion to pass, right? To to help them know that they are safe with you and that they can have that frustration or that anger and you are going to be there holding that space for them. So definitely, I think that body language can be a great source of comfort for kids and and also having that conversation you know if your kid is older you can have a deeper conversation but definitely there are different ways in which you can validate the experience and sometimes it might even be just letting them have it right again like going back to what i was sharing at the beginning that it is very difficult for us as parents to watch our kids in pain so of course our our mama bear inside right says i'm going to fix the situation but sometimes kids need to be in touch with those emotions in order to maybe understand what's happening, uh, maybe to sit with it a little bit before they can process it. So sometimes just even taking a break from from any external uh, stimulus can be positive for the kid just to let them um, be with that emotion. And then you can either... Uh, you know, give them a hack and have that that physical comfort or to have a conversation about it. 